Keynote 716 on a high level sort of fixes a wrong in our field, which is to say that um, as an idiosyncrasy for melanoma cancer, tumors that have a deep primary or ulceration of the primary lesion actually can have at least as significant risk of recurrence and death as those that have metastasized to the lymph nodes. So immunotherapy has been approved for treatment of patients after surgery for lymph nodes, but that was not extended to patients with deep primary or ulcerated primaries. So this study set out sort of level the playing field, so to say, which is to say to study those patients who are at high risk with stage 2B and 2C melanoma, who currently don't have an adjuvant treatment option, even though we know they're at the similar risk to those who do. Keynote 716 was an international randomized placebo-controlled double-blinded study, so the highest level of evidence. So basically, patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to either receive the intervention arm, which was pembrolizumab at standard dosing, or to receive a placebo. And patients received up to 17 cycles over the course of one year, as has been standard across adjuvant therapies for melanoma. So Keynote 716 met its pre-specified uh, primary endpoint evaluation on the first interim assessment, um, which is to say that the study showed uh, initially a 35% reduction in the risk of recurrence for those who received the intervention, which was pembrolizumab, compared with placebo. So that's a hazard ratio of 0 0.65. And that's a major benefit. And it shows that uh, these patients are at high risk. They had rapid recurrences, but that treatment with pembrolizumab you know, reduce the number of recurrences and importantly, reduce the number of distant metastasis recurrences, which obviously that's really what we want to um, make sure that patients don't have, obviously, the development of metastases. Uh, overall, the treatment was well tolerated in the same way that we know pembrolizumab is in other settings. There was a smattering of uh, adverse events that are well characterized, but they were well managed and, um, you know, can, patients can, uh, for the most part, uh, maintain quality of life. There was no change in the quality of life metrics over time. So, so based on these results, um, the sponsor of the study, Merck, has actually already filed in the United States for regulatory approval. And so this, these results should have a very substantial impact on clinical practice. The population of patients with high-risk stage 2B and 2C melanoma is approximately the same size as the current approval for stage 3. So we'll basically double the number of patients who in standard practice should be offered this treatment. Now, whether or not all patients take the treatment, obviously that's a patient and provider decision, but this trial really does set the stage for a marked increase in the number of patients who justifiably should be offered this treatment. The one piece of commentary I would add is that um, there's a, uh, an idea in our field that patients with stage two melanoma are low risk. But in fact, this study not only shows that pembrolizumab was effective, but it really, it really shows that that was not true. These patients had rapid recurrences, which were often distant. And it really suggests we should be thinking of these patients with stage 2B and 2C melanoma in the same way we think about stage 3. And that's very important when we think about offering the treatment to patients in general practice. Mm -hmm.